Welcome to January's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is kth largest element in an array. Find the kth largest element in an unsorted array. Note that it is the kth largest element in sorted order, not the kth distinct element. So that's helpful. Um, basically, we have a unsorted list and we want to return the second largest one inside of this list. Now, the straightforward method, um, you would think, is to sort it probably do it in reverse order, and then uh, select the second element inside of that temporary that's sorted in descending order, and you're done, right? Now, I did not expect this to work, but interestingly enough, it does work. What we do is just say, okay, make it sorted, reverse equals true, and then just return the kth element, but we have to subtract one because it's zero indexed, and uh, this, totally works, it's fine. But obviously in an interview, this would be a little cheeky and really not really explain anything. The reason why this is so fast is because the sort sorted method inside Python is just very good. Uh, so you might want to explain in more detail if we can do better than this. This would be time complexity of n log n. Can we do better? Well, uh, one method I found interesting was we could use a variation of quick sort. Uh, what we could do is take our elements and select a pivot. And it would have to be some random position here. Just select one of those numbers. And what we'll do is create three arrays. We're gonna create um, one array that's less than the pivot number, which will say uh, that's gonna be called right, right? Because we're going descending order. So whatever is bigger than our pivot, put that into our right array. If anything's smaller, put that into our left array. And if it's uh, the number that we select in pivot, we'll put that in the mid. Now, the reason we can do that is we'll have this left, mid, and right. And now we can take our k and just get the lengths of these array and check to see which one will it belong in. For instance, if k is um, less than or equal to the length of left, then we know that whatever k element is uh, we're trying to select should be in here. With that, we can start recursively calling, do the same algorithm, and uh, move on until we find the point at which the k is equal to, um, well, it's not, we want to say, less than or equal to the length of left, and it's not greater than the length of the left and mid. It's not on the right side. It's in the mid, and once we get there, we can just return whatever number is inside that mid, because whatever pivot number we selected, that's the number that's going to be the kth largest. So let me see what, um, let me show you what I mean by this. It's kind of a variation of quick. So what we do is first select a pivot point, and we're going to use random.choice and select any number inside this nums. Now we want to have our left array, and we'll use list comprehension here. We'll say, all right, for x in nums, if this value is, um, when you want to say greater than our pivot, then it goes to our left, right? So if this value is greater than pivot, then put it into our left. Now, if the value is equal to our pivot, then we're gonna put it into our mid. And otherwise put it into our right. So that would just mean if it's less than our pivot. Oops, and nums, if x is less than our pivot. Okay, so now we have three temporary arrays and we'll have to uh, initialize the length of the left and the length of the middle. We don't need the length of the right because if um, our k is greater than uh, l plus m, we already know that's going to be on the right side. So we don't actually need the length to that. We'll just get the length of left and the length of mid. And first thing I want to check is, look, if k is less than or equal to the length of L, which is our left side, we know it's inside this left array, right? So we'll just do a recursive call here. And we'll put in the left array, and we'll continue putting that K. Now, otherwise, if K is greater than <clears throat> um, L plus M, we know it's gotta be on the right side, right? So uh, I should say return here. If this happens, what we're gonna do is say, okay, get the k largest, but search on the right side. 
and instead of k, now we're actually going to um, input the k minus l plus m here. Because we know k is greater, uh, we have to take whatever length is from the length of, length of left side and middle side, and whatever values left inside here, that's going to be uh, on the right. So otherwise, if none of these are true, that means our pivot number is, or I'm sorry, the min number is equal to the, the, the kth largest, right? So if that's the case, all these values inside of mid should be the same. So we can just return any value inside here. We'll say mid zero, uh, just to be safe, we'll return the first one. Now let's see if this works. It appears to be working, so let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. So this is faster, technically. Now, it doesn't look like O of n time complexity, uh, but there's some mathematical reasons why it actually it does average to O of n. It's not O of log n. And I believe it's something to do with how um, many recursive calls here will do. On average, we do a depth of two, so um, something like that. But honestly, this question, like, if you just want to solve it, you know, for for programming purposes, probably better to do it using sorted, just using the sorted built-in library. Uh, but during an interview, if you did something like this, this could be pretty impressive. So it's good to know. This algorithm is kind of known as quick select instead of quick sort. All right, so thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.